Hey guys, Riley here from McNaught Buick GMC, and today we're gonna to be taking an in-depth look at the all-new 2021 GMC Acadia Denali. Now, as always, if you enjoy these review videos, feel free to subscribe and drop a like. It really helps the channel out. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. Now, this Denali is powered by a 3.6 liter V6 engine pushing 310 horsepower and 271 pound-feet of torque to all four wheels. Now that engine is gonna be paired with a nine-speed automatic transmission, and that nine-speed is gonna be available regardless of the engine or the trim level that you choose. Now in terms of engine options, you've got a few different ones to choose from. There's a two-liter turbocharged four-cylinder, and there's also a 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine available on the lower trim level, which is the SLE. Now, as we walk around the exterior of this Denali, you're gonna notice there's plenty of chrome. Now, that's one of the main characteristics that distinguishes the Denali from the other trim levels. Now, we're gonna start off with the front grille here. This is the signature uh, Denali honeycomb grille. Really nice and bold, gives it that uh, large, aggressive appearance. Now, if we look on down here, you're gonna notice there's a forward-facing camera. That's actually gonna help stitch together the 360 surround vision uh, camera view, which we're gonna show on the inside of the vehicle. Now, the headlights and taillights are all full LEDs. You've got the LED C-shaped daytime running lights, as well as your three bulb LED headlights. And if you take a look down below, you've also got the LED fog lamps equipped. Now there are the forward and rear facing parking sensors which are integrated into the front and rear bumpers, keeping everything nice and sleek. Now before we head alongside, I just wanna point out one more thing here. If you take a look behind the rear view camera, you've actually got another sensor integrated uh, on the windshield itself. Now that's gonna help with your adaptive cruise control which is available and equipped in this Acadia Denali. Now in terms of wheels, you've got a couple different options. This vehicle is equipped with the 20 inch machined aluminum wheels, and those are wrapped with Michelin all season tires. Now, as we take a look alongside the Acadia itself, you've got the chrome roof rails. The mirror caps themselves have the LED uh, turn signal indicators. And if you take a look just underneath the mirror cap, you will find another camera. There's a camera on each side view mirror, which is once again gonna stitch together that 360 degree bird's eye view. Now the door handles itself, you've got keyless entry, so all four doors have a nice little button here. As long as the key is in your pocket or purse, you're able to lock and unlock all four doors from the push of a button. Now on the mirror cap itself, you are gonna find your uh, side blind zone monitoring. Now that little LED indicator is gonna light up on your left and right mirror cap if somebody's in your blind spot. Now this vehicle, the Acadia, is available with the seven uh, passenger seating capacity or a six passenger configuration. Now this particular one that we're looking at today is the six passenger configuration. Now on the back end, you've got the uh, LED taillights, dual exhaust system, and once again, nice sleek uh, chrome alongside the exterior just above that bumper. Now your rear view camera is gonna be located right here. And then your rear camera mirror is also just next to it. And you've actually got a uh, washer fluid um, accessory that's gonna clean that camera in the event that it gets dirty in the winter. So that's a really unique feature that uh, not many people know about actually. Now let's take a look at the trunk space. You've got the power lift gate. You're able to open it up just using the push of a button down below. You could also of course use the key fob itself to open this up. And there's also a button from within the driver's seat. Now currently I have the third row seating folded down nice and flat just to give you a sense of how much space you really have back here. Um, we've got the GMC all-weather mats which are uh, installed. I highly recommend these mats. They're only a couple hundred bucks. They're gonna help protect your entire uh, interior of your vehicle. And you've got plenty of storage space under here. The spare tire is located just underneath the vehicle on the back. Uh, you've also got an outlet back here if you wanna plug something in, keep stuff charged up. And to get these third row seats up, simply grab the pull tab and those will come up nice and securely. And then you could pop up the headrest like so. Now GMC states that once you have the third and second row seats all the way down, 
you've actually got 79 cubic feet of storage, which is absolutely incredible if you uh, need to haul a lot of suitcases or some golf clubs and whatnot. Right, now let's take a look at the back seat of the 2021 GMC Acadia. Now at first glance, you've got the light shale leather interior. And what I like about this interior is that it actually uses real wood grain on the uh, door trim as well as some of the uh, center console on the front seat that I'll show you in just a moment. Now overall, you've got plenty of nice storage containers here uh, within the door, the Bose premium audio speakers and your one touch down windows on the back. Now the second row captain's chairs are perhaps one of the most comfortable seats in the house. You've got the nice perforated leather seats here which are heated on the second row. And these are fully adjustable. If you wanna actually slide these forward or backward, there's a little tab just underneath the front here which is gonna actually allow you to slide those back, giving your second row passengers a bit more leg room. Now in terms of getting into the third row, you could either step on forward through the center aisle, but if you've actually got the seven passenger seating equipped, this is gonna be a bench seat, so that changes things up a little bit. Nonetheless, you've still got the option to pull this pull tab forward. That's going to drop the seats down nice and flat. And then from there, you've got uh, plenty of easy access into that third row. Now, allow me to step on inside the vehicle here. We're going to take a look at the uh, amenities that you've got within the second row seating. So over here, you will find the tri-zone climate controls. Once again, you've got the heated outbound seats uh, for the captain's chairs. And then just down below, you've got an AC 120 volt outlet if you want to plug in a laptop. You've got the USB-C and the USB type A charging ports. Last but not least, you've got a generous sized uh, storage container, which also has two cup holders. So that's definitely really convenient on those longer uh, road trips. You've got lots of amenities here for the rear seat passengers. All right, now it's time to step on into the driver's seat of the all new 2021 Acadia. Now at first glance, once again, same great leather materials and that wood grain trim that you already love. Now on the door panel itself, you are gonna find your memory seat settings. You've got your power lock and unlock, as well as your power adjustable side view mirrors, which are power folding, of course, on the Denali. Now the windows are all one touch down and then the two fronts are also one touch up automatic, which is really nice. You've got the eight speaker Bose premium audio system, which I highly recommend. Uh, this actual sound system is engineered specifically for the Acadia. So uh, Bose is really well known for their uh, impressive sound quality. You've got the power tailgate controls right here. Now you're able to set that to three quarters or open it all the way, it's your choice. And then taking a look at the driver's seat itself, once again, perforated light shale leather seats. You've got the French seam stitching, Denali logo, which is embroidered into the headrest itself. That's a really nice touch to remind you that you've got the best of the best. And as we head down lower, you will find your full power adjustable controls with your lumbar support. Now behind the steering wheel itself, you will find your power adjustable controls for the steering wheel. Once again, Denali gives you plenty of uh, luxury uh, power amenities. You've got the electronic parking brake, your interior brightness switch, as well as your six inch color heads up display controls, which I will show you as soon as we hop on inside. All right, now we've gone ahead and taken a seat inside the cabin of the 2021 Acadia Denali. I'm gonna go over all the tech and features that are included with this particular vehicle, starting from left to right. You've got the um, leather wrapped steering wheel with the aluminum inserts on the middle portion. You're also gonna find your Denali logo embossed into this nice chrome insert, giving it that nice rich luxury feel. Now from left to right, you're gonna find your cruise control buttons, your heated steering wheel, which has an LED indicator letting you know that that is on or off. And then you've got your forward collision alert and adaptive cr cruise control uh, gap adjust. So you could set the distance that you want your vehicle to follow the vehicle in front of you when you're using adaptive cruise control on the highway. Now on the right hand side, you will find your hands-free call buttons. This is gonna work whether you have an iPhone plugged in with Apple CarPlay. It's also got Amazon Alexa built in, or you could simply use it for Bluetooth uh, hands-free calling. Now the buttons right here are going to be your five point command center, which is gonna help you configure the fully configurable uh, center gauge cluster. So 
you've actually got quite a few options on this vehicle uh, in terms of what you want to display on that center screen. So some of the information that you're able to display, of course, your speedometer, your tachometer, and then you've also got your fuel range, oil life, your uh, tire pressure, as well as your air filter life, and much more. Now you're also able to uh, play around with some of the settings. You've also got your navigation prompts, which will be on that front screen if you've got that activated. You could also, of course, connect your phone and that's gonna show who you're on the phone with uh, on the center screen. So once again, GMC likes to keep everything nice and easy and visible at first glance while you're driving. Now here is that six inch heads up display I was talking about. Now I apologize for the flickering, that's actually just part of the iPhone not really capturing it on camera properly, but you're actually able to adjust the information that's displayed on there. Uh, of course you could adjust the brightness or the height of the um, heads up display. So you've got quite a few options here. It's a really nice feature at night. And uh, once again, I apologize for the flickering, that's just the camera not picking it up. Now let's take a look at the eight inch GMC infotainment system. This is best in class in terms of infotainment on a modern day vehicle. Now on the audio app, you're gonna find your Sirius XM radio, your AM, FM, and then you've got a couple more options such as uh, USB, you've also got Bluetooth, and of course, uh, if you got Apple CarPlay plugged in, that's gonna override this. Now in terms of phone connectivity, you're e easily able to uh, connect a phone through Bluetooth, no problem. That's gonna show up your contacts and your recent calls. And then probably one of my favorite features on the Acadia is the navigation system. Just look at how responsive this system is. You're able to use two fingers to uh, pinch to zoom out. It's uh, truly really great uh, and easy to use. Uh, the keyboard is nice and responsive if you need to type in something. Uh, and overall, it's just a really pleasant system to use. Uh, I would compare it actually to the Maps app, which is built into your iPhone. It's really responsive. Now the Wi-Fi hotspot is uh, available with OnStar 4G uh, subscription. Now of course that's going to give you better reception than if you were simply using your cell phone because the antenna is built into the top of the vehicle and it's powered by the vehicle itself, so definitely a lot better uh, signal. Um, in terms of user profiles, you are able to set a couple different users for your Acadia. So let's say you and your wife are driving it or you're sharing it with one of the kids. Uh, everybody could have their own profile, which is gonna save their radio settings and their seat uh, settings and all that. Uh, within the menu itself, you've got a couple options. Uh, one of the options I wanted to mention, of course, is the auto lock feature. So within the, the uh, settings menu, you are able to set the doors to automatically lock once you uh, walk away from the vehicle and it's turned off. You're gonna find Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, which are standard. You've also got access to download additional apps as they become available on this vehicle. Now over here, you've got OnStar, you've got your climate controls, which are fully accessible from the screen, or you could use the hard buttons down below, whatever's your choice. Now there is also access to the rear climate controls from the front, which is uh, really convenient. If you've got the kids in the back, you could actually lock them out, and then that way you could control everything here from the front. Other than that, we're going to take a look at the HD surround vision camera system. So as I mentioned, you got one in the front, one in the back, and one on each mirror cap, which is going to stitch together this beautiful HD 360 image. Now over here, we're looking at the forward facing camera, but you could switch that to the back. You've got your trajectory lines, which are going to actually follow as you steer the vehicle. Once again, helping guide you into a parking spot. You've also got the top down view, which is nice and convenient if you're uh, parking up against a curb. And then of course you've got the uh, wheel uh, side profile shot here, which is gonna, once again, if you're parallel parking, this is, uh, this is an absolute must. Probably one of the nicest and most underrated features you're gonna find on this vehicle. Now, over here, you've got the hitch view camera, which faces straight down as you're backing up, making it a lot easier to connect with a trailer, of course. And uh, other than that, just a really beautiful camera system. You could even change the trajectory line to show the uh, hitch view guidance. Now back to the main menu, you are gonna find your My GMC app and the Sirius XM radio app. Now the My GMC app, you could actually download on your phone and you're able to remote start the vehicle from anywhere in the world with an OnStar subscription. Now, personally, I use this in Winnipeg and it's excellent in the winter time. I'm able to start my car uh, from within the office without even being in range of the standard remote start. 
Now over here, you will find the precision shift selector. You've got the uh, buttons now, which helps kind of free up some space here uh, on the front console. Just below that, you will find your SD card slot. You've got a USB-C port and a USB type A port, as well as your 12 volt charging outlet. Now there's also a wireless charging mat, which is a pretty decent size, uh, definitely big enough to fit the new iPhone 12, so no problem there whatsoever. You've got the auto start stop function with the disable option, so if you don't wanna use that, that's no problem. Traction control, hazards, and your parking sensors. Once again, everything's located right here. And once again, we're gonna find that nice ash uh, wood grain trim throughout the, uh, the surround here around the buttons. Just once again, nice uh, luxurious touch to this midsize SUV. Now in terms of seats, you've got those perforated heated and cooled leather seats for both the front driver and passenger. You've got the lane departure warning with the lane keep assist. You're able to turn that on and off. That's gonna provide some steering uh, feedback if you're crossing over the line. And then you've got your traction select system here with the uh, four x four all wheel drive. You've got the sport mode. And then of course you've got the off road mode and your towing mode. So that's gonna once again, change up some of the characteristics of your transmission as well as your adaptive ride control, uh, giving you the optimal driving experience depending on the terrain. Now up and above, you will find the rear camera mirror, which I was talking about before. This is a really great feature. You're actually able to fully adjust the brightness as well as the zoom on this camera. And you could even adjust the pan up and down, giving you, uh, once again, the best angle when you're driving on the highway. This is a really great feature and the camera works great at night as well. So if it's dark outside, you don't have to worry about that. And with the pull of a tab, you could switch it from camera to regular mirror. So overall, definitely a really unique feature that I love about the GMC. Now, as we take a look up above at the ceiling, you will find your OnStar buttons. You've got your LED interior lights with your power, slide, and tilt sunroof controls and your uh, triple garage door transmitter. Now up here, you've got a little sunglass compartment. And now I'm going to show you the um, Skyscape dual sunroof that's available with the Pro Grade package on the Denali. You've also got the secondary sunroof in the back, which is fixed. And I've, right now I've got the sunshade closed, but other than that, uh, it's quite spacious in this cabin with the two sunroofs. Now just over here on the passenger side, once again, a little bit more wood grain. You've got the um, glove compartment, pretty standard, straightforward. And uh, other than that, that's the interior of the 2021 GMC Acadia. All right, there you have it. That's our in-depth review of the 2021 GMC Acadia Denali. As always, if you've enjoyed this review video, feel free to subscribe and like the video. It really helps the channel out. Until then, we'll see you next time.